Hello? Hey, Boo. Where are you? I'm outside. My my sister just got back in the car. Oh, okay. Did, um, do you see where the Jeep is? Just go to the back door because I'm trying to get the table set up. The what? I'm trying to get the table set up. Just go through the back door so nobody sees you. Where's the back door? By where the Jeep is, just walk around the side. Not the front door, just go around the back. Where the garage is? Mm-hmm. These should be the Twinkly Pumpkins. I see all the pumpkins. My sister's like, oh, look at all the pumpkins. Nice. <laughs> all right, I'm at the back door. Just go in. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. I don't know, we'll just do that. Did you want hey, to go? You want these pencils? Okay, okay. You got it? It's a pleasure working with you gentlemen. Hey. Absolutely. Absolutely. We had some pizza together. You know. yeah. Oh, whatever. We took the pizza. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Here you go. Got it. Good morning, Ms. Beth. Okay, this is Fred. And I'm going to sign your rights downstairs. I just want to talk. I just have to have you sign another form. Another kind of one. Here. Here. Um, and this is the same stuff you initial downstairs. But I just want you to see that your name is there. And just initial again and sign if you're willing to talk to us. Where is, where is my, um, my body? We, uh, well, we haven't gotten to that point yet because we want to talk to you. And like I said before, you know, we, we wrote out those charges, but we want to talk to you and hear your side of it. And then we'll go from there. You can come back around. Right. UPS in Norwalk? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you work through the night or during the day? Morning, early morning. Okay. So, why do you think you're here? Because uh, we got a house. And how did you learn about that house? I talked to that girl. What's, you know what the girl's name is? Um. Um. Bailey? How are you talking to Bailey? Are you talking on the phone? Both. Like actual voice to voice conversations? Mm-hmm. Okay. How did you first meet her? In the internet. What, what part of the internet? An application? Mm-hmm. Um, what was the app? Whisper. Okay. And what do people go on Whisper for? Like what's, what drew you to Whisper? Just to talk, chat, you know? With people you know, or strangers, yeah. or I mean, I met home. maybe like one person that I know down there, which was it. Yeah. There's people in all over the United States. Oh, okay. Do people use their real names? I mean, I do. Yeah. Do you expect when you meet somebody that you're, that's really your name? I mean, I would hope. I mean, I'm telling the truth, you yeah. know? What name do you use on Whisper? Do you use John Dupree? No, I use Johnny Connecticut. Johnny Connecticut? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have any other online names you use? No. What's the name Santoro or Santora? 
Have you ever used that? Yeah, I mean, I have because, I mean, I'm, you know, I just I got, got in trouble, so, you know, I don't want people in my business. Right. So that is a name you use on social media sometimes? I mean, just once or twice I have. Uh -huh. Like, if people want to be asking my last name and stuff. That's what you use? Yeah. Does that mean anything to you? That's special to you? Like, how'd you come up with that? I just, it's just random. So you're on Whisper, and what were you looking for on Whisper? Just guy, girl? It just needs somebody to have a friend. Okay. And so how did you connect with Bailey? Just talking. They were just talking and just hit it off and just kept talking. Yeah. What kind of stuff did you talk about? Sports. Uh, her moving to, from Cali to here. Um, family. Brothers, sisters, pets, food, like everything. Yeah. How long were you talking with her? Like two, like a week, week and a half. Yeah. And when did you, did the conversation change to actually getting together? A couple of days ago. Okay. How did that, like, did she invite you? Where did you say you wanted to see her? Um, both. Can you tell me a little more about how it all came together? She said, I, you know, I'm really cool, and I said she's really cool, and maybe we can hang out. And she said, you're a sweet guy. You know, I said, you sound like you're sweet too, you know? Mm -hmm. And then what, how did you find out about that house? Uh, she told me. What'd she say? That she was living there, and um, with her mom, and I guess her mom, she said, I'm going away or whatever. And then, I'm going to go to the football game. What football game? Steelers and the Ravens. Okay. And then it just turned into a fucking nightmare. Mm -hmm. Was there some sex talk going on between you and Bailey? I mean, a little chatter, you know? Yeah. I mean, I had no clue to go over there and have sex with her. Mm -hmm. I had no condoms or nothing on I me. Mean, I brought food mm -hmm. to eat with her and snack. That's all I planned on doing. Right. Did you tell her you were going to bring those foods? Yep. What foods did you bring? A snapple, potato chips, and I brought a candy bar. Okay. What was the candy bar? I didn't know that. Um, it was chocolate and caramel because she said she likes caramel. Oh. So I brought that. Yeah. So you said you were going to do, you know, you said you were going to do these things for her and you followed through and you did it. Yep. Yeah. So, when you talked about having sex with her, I should, that's kind of why, you know, we see that you followed through with some of the things you were saying you were going to do, so that's why I was a little concerned. You said you were going to bring the chips and the iced tea, and you did. Mm -hmm. you, know, you said you wanted to be inside her, so it's just hard to... Yeah, no, I wasn't going to have sex with her. Yeah. Do you talk like that with other girls? No. Have you ever? I really don't even, I'm not even on there much, you know, like that. I'm getting, you know, I swear to God, I'm not, I mean, on my Facebook, my friends and stuff, but my, you know, that's yeah. it. You are on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. All I do is worry about my little boy, and I'm at the library every day trying to find a new job. Did you send her those photos? Yeah, that's me, yeah. Did you send her those photos? Yeah. And then, um, these messages right here. Are those you? Is that you're just phone to phone? Or is that on a social media app? Uh, yeah, it's phone to phone. Mm -hmm. You had two phones on you. Yeah. So which phone were those text messages on? Um, the smartphone because it's easier to text on. Mm. The other one is my is a prepaid estate phone, okay. and it's a pain to text. Why well, you have two phones? One is my prepaid with minutes. Okay. The other one's that I hooked up. I just use it for Wi-Fi and stuff. Because oh, okay. my prepaid, I don't get Wi-Fi, and like apps and stuff mm. like Facebook, um, you yeah, know, my phone. email, everything. The other one I get um, all my apps and stuff, so that's why I use that too. So, uh, do you see on here what makes us concerned about your intent? Yes, I do. And this girl told you how, how old was she? What did she tell you? 
I'm not sure, 14. She was still 13? Mm-hmm. Did she send you a picture? Mm-hmm. And what did she look like? Uh, dark hair. Did she look 13? Um, like 17. Yeah. 18, yeah. Did she tell her that? That she looked older? Um, I don't know if I said she was older. I said she that she talks, you know, really. Yeah. 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 Did she have to tell you more than once that she was thirteen? No, she told me once. And did you believe her? Um, not not at first, no. But then what? I mean, I really still had, you know, doubts. I mean, I don't know, you know, so a lot of people lie in there, you know. So. When you showed up tonight. Did you believe she was 13? That didn't even look like her. No. No. What did you think when you saw the girl? That it wasn't her. And why'd you stay? Well, I didn't really get a chance to talk to her. She went in the room. Yeah. She laid out the, the gifts that you brought her. Mm-hmm. And you asked for a hug. Well, that, yeah, just like, you know, I asked for everybody for a hug when I first meet them or whatever. You do? Just um yeah. I mean, if you see somebody you know. Someone, but you said you didn't look like someone you knew. No. So let's get let's let's go that way. When you when you got there, did you think that she was Bailey? I didn't know. Okay. You're still willing to be open to the fact that might be Bailey. Well, I was trying to look at her, you know, and talk to her more, but I wasn't able to because when everything turned into a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But before the nightmare was laying out the chips and the mm. and the iced tea and candy bar. Mm. And she was looking at you and she was excited and happy. Mm. And it didn't seem like you were like, you don't look like Bailey. You actually asked for a hug. I mean, I assumed it was her, but I mean, I, cut, I looked at her and she did look different, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was hoping, I was assuming it was her, you know, I just had to fall with her, so. But she did a gift in a little bit. If she wanted to have sex tonight, would you have? No. Why not? For one, um, I had really, really got to even know her, honestly. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I did go there to watch, you know, hang out, whatever. But I, I swear on my little boy, I wasn't going to have sex with her. I really wasn't. Well, then it help us understand this. What, they're just the taxi? Yeah, I mean, what you're saying to her. Oh, that's what I want. That's why I'm confused. That's about the party. <coughs> about you wanting to feel, you want her to feel you inside her. I mean, I know what that means to me. No, I know. I should never say much to be sure I did. And you're talking about wanting to make her con. I know. That was just all. What did you think that, um, like, what is she supposed to read from that, like? Well, when, I mean, honestly, when I was talking to her, I mean, I, I was hoping that there was a chance that, you know, that she, it was just, I don't even know why I said that to her. But you were kind of hoping that it was going to happen. No. No? You were just going to say that? No, I wasn't even planning on having sex with her. No. Okay. I didn't bring condoms, no, I don't have no food. Do you ever have sex without condoms? What's that? Do you ever have sex without condoms? Just my son's mom. So the answer is yes, sir. Yeah, my son's mom. But we were together for a while. And there's ways to make girls come without having sex. So you're talking about mm -hmm. wanting to make her come because of what ex-boyfriend couldn't. So was that at all? Plan? No, I didn't have no plans of that tonight. Yeah. Do you think that a girl that you text like this thinks you're going to have sex? That that's the way you're talking to her before you show up? I mean, we, we didn't talk about having, when I was going over here tonight, nothing about having sex. When did these messages happen? A couple of days ago, when I first knew, a couple of days after we started talking. But isn't it true that today is the first opportunity that she had to be alone? Um, I don't know. She told me that 
Her mom went away. I mean, I don't know. She wasn't there. Her mom wasn't away. But I mean, I don't know if she had prior opportunities, you know, to be alone. I didn't really ask her. No, no. Okay. Well, thank you. 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 Thank and well, I mean, my age, too. Okay. I would say that would be the biggest factor. Mm. How old are you? Uh, 40. 40. And how old did you tell her you were? Uh, 30. Did you tell her that and that? Yeah, I lied about my age because I didn't know she lied about hers. Well, usually, I don't know, I mean, maybe I come from a different generation. And usually when people lie about their age, they usually say they're older than they are, right? Yeah, you just that usually, people don't usually say they're younger than they are, do they? Except for a man who's 40 and wants to have sex with a girl, I'd say he's younger. I mean, I mean right. people always lie and say they're younger than they are? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you definitely talked about her age, so there was no disputing that she was, she was clearly explaining to you that she was not yet 14, she was 13. Mm -hmm. So you knew you were going to a 13-year-old's house where her mom was not home, right? Mm -hmm. And you know you had engaged in conversation with her by text, talking about what you wanted to do to her sexually. But I wasn't even going to do it though. But even just the talk. Don't we believe you weren't going to do it? I wasn't. Who convinced us? I swear I was just going over here to have some fool where I lost the game. Do you, do you see something wrong with just that part, though? What if she was just 13 and wanted to just hang out? You know, what if she was just all over you? And there's no parents there, and you could have spent the whole night there. I mean, isn't that dangerous for you? What did you tell your sister you were doing? Because I doubt if you told her you were meeting a 13 year old girl. I didn't say I was going to hang out with a girl. She drove you from Norwalk to Fairfield? Mm hmm. And then what did you tell her about getting a ride home? I thought I was going to call her. They had me picking me pick up. How old's your sister? 28. She did to you like that? She would go back home in Norma and come back to Fairfield and pick you up? Yes, yeah, she wasn't. I mean, we're close. What would you do if you came home after you told your son you were going out for 20 minutes? And you came home and there was a 30 year old guy sitting next to your son who was 10, not too much younger than this girl. Huh? What does that say to you? Anything? I know what you're saying. What would you believe that guy to be doing? You ever done this before? You know, sir. I've never met no girl off anyway. No. Nope. Never. Have you tried and it just hasn't happened? No. Nope. Yeah. So what's what's going on in your life that you reached out for someone now? I mean, I just hit it off with her and just. I mean, I don't know. Is this a recurring problem for you, reaching out to younger girls? No. No, not at all. I swear. Did you know what was wrong? Yeah, I know it was wrong. Well, that's 
the start. You on probation? Yes, sir. Is your case in all completed? No. It's still going through court? Yeah. Is your son with his mom tonight? Please help me. Well, how can we help you? Tell us how we can help you. Did you go to counseling? We go to Connecticut counseling. Okay. For for drugs? Yeah. For mm-hmm. addiction? No, no, no. I don't know that. But I mean, for anything else, you talk about anything else? Yes, sir. Do you think you need to talk about anything else now? Or this was just a one-time thing that's never going to happen again? No, I want to talk to you. I know I've never talked to you anymore. No, 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 no. What other sites do you talk to strangers on? Whisper and what else? That's it. Really? My friends on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You talk to strangers though? On Facebook? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You don't accept people that you don't know? No. <coughs> What's your Facebook name? My name is John Jeffy. I'm not good. I don't know really, Facebook's all a gossip. I don't know once in a while I see my talk to my little boy, that's it. Child pornography? That's it? You ever looked at any child porn? No. So if we were looking at your phones, are we going to find stuff on there that you yep. saved pictures of young girls or yep. boys or anything? Nope. There's nothing on there. I knew about anything. I swear to God. So what's going on in your life that this happened now? I mean, uh, I've been single and lonely, and I hit it off with her, and that was it. I've been single for... So, to just kind of recap, <laughs> you're saying you're lonely, you know, you got a wall with her, you guys really hit it off. Mm-hmm. So you, a 40-year-old man, were going over to a 13-year-old girl's house with no parents there to just hang out and watch football. Yes, I was. But there's something majorly wrong with that. Do you see that? Yeah, like yes, it's dangerous. I dangerous for the little girl. Which is it ever okay for a four-year-old stranger to be allowed into a 13-year-old little girl's house with no one else home? What would you think if you heard about that on the news? Like, oh my God, this 13-year-old girl let in a, a 40-year-old stranger into her house to hang out. Would you consider that dangerous? I know what you think. Yeah. But then we throw on the fact that you're telling her that you're going to make her come and you want to feel on the inside of her. You throw that on top of that really wrong situation of just going to hang out with her. I think you got to kind of come to terms with that. And, and kind of admit that you would have had sex with her if she was into it. No, I wasn't. I wouldn't have. I don't think you were going to, like, hold it down and rape her. And I don't think anyone believes that. But I think if she was a 13-year-old that was into you, you would have been okay with that. No, I wouldn't have had sex with her. I wouldn't have. What would have stopped you? She was all over you. I would have just told her, I can't do it. What would you have done? I would have just said, I can't do it, you know, and just talk. What if she was like, well, then why do you say those things to me by text? What? I, that's why you're here. That's why she wanted you to come over. I would have just got around it. I wouldn't have did it. I would not have, I was not going to have sex with that girl. I wasn't. You had no way out of there. You had no car you could drive away with. 
You're planning on spending the night, right? No, I was going to get picked back up. You told Chris Hansen you were going to spend the night. No, I was going to get picked back up. Tonight? Yep. Well, downstairs, you, what, what was the, the, your sister, what we call your sister, she comes and gets you? Yeah, she was going to come get me. Back tonight? Mm-hmm. Her and my brother, they were there and come get me. That's if you didn't stay over, because okay. you said in the house that you were going to stay over. That's what you said. Or did you guys communicate that? You and Bailey, did you did you guys talk about you spending the night? No. No? Okay. That doesn't make that big a difference, though. Listen, there's no there's no plausible explanation for a 40 year old man to wait and to be in a house with a 13 year old girl when there's no parents home. There's only one reason for a guy to do it, and that's for sex. So you can say whatever the hell you want to say, but you're lying. You're lying to yourself. You don't lie to us. We know why you were there. You're lying to yourself. Admit it to yourself, and let's get out of it. Because there's no other reason for you to be there. I'm looking at you. You're gonna have you know. You could sit and watch a football game with your son, can't you? Can't you? Not tonight. No. Any other night? Only on Sundays. Okay, so on Sunday you could sit around and watch football games with your son and bring him a chocolate bar and all the other stuff that you brought over there, couldn't you? Mm-hmm. Couldn't you? You could, absolutely. But no, you chose to come to Fairfield from Norwalk on a rainy Thursday night to sit down with a 13-year-old girl whose parents were home to have to do what? To do what? Be honest. To, to do what? No, to do what? To chill and watch the football To do game. what? No, not to chill and watch the football game. To eventually have sex with her. I wasn't you were hugging her within the first minute you were in the <laughs> house. You're trying to hug her. You're pushing yourself on her right in front of us. She didn't want to hug you. She didn't do anything to indicate she wanted a hug from you. You went at her. Do you even realize that? Well, I think we should ask her for a hug. Right, but you're getting physical, and you're trying to tell us, no, no, I wasn't going to do anything. I just want to hang out and watch a football game. But you're already were getting physical with her in the first 60 seconds you were in the house. No, I was just saying, like, hello, you know, like, a hello, hello. She's a little baby. She's a 13-year-old little girl. Who does that? Ian talks about sex with her like that. After you've seen a picture of her, she's a little girl. Do you see that in the pictures? Do you see she's a little girl? Look. Does that look like a football buddy? I have football buddies, but they're usually guys that are at the bar. Yeah. Listen. You need to admit things that you did to yourself and to us so that you can get on with your life. By sitting here and bullshitting us, which we're not believing, obviously, that you're there to watch a football game is crap. So if you want any chance of making a phone call and getting out of here tonight, tell us why you were really there, and then we'll get on with it. I told you, I, just went, I wasn't going to have sex with her. So you were lying in the text messages? What? Were you lying to her in the text messages then? I didn't plan on her doing anything with her. Why did you text her those things? You know what I think? I think he's inadequate. He couldn't have sex with her. And he didn't want to have sex with a 13 year old because he couldn't have sex with a 13 year old because she's afraid that she would probably show him what to do. And that wouldn't make him feel very well about himself. Probably make him feel worse. Is that the deal? Hmm? I wasn't going to have sex with her. I don't even know why I said this thing. Well, you got yourself in a bad situation, and I, I can, the only way I can figure out is that you're going to get any kind of, like, funneling toward help versus can't be hammered, is if you can take responsibility for why you were there and admit you have a problem. And then people can start helping. Because you say all these things by text behind the computer screen, where you put your body right there, and then now you say, oh no, I wasn't really going to do that, I just want to hang out. 
Do I have a body? You probably have a body. You have criminal history too, right? This one last year. You got a pending case. How were you out on your other case? I came ready for the PTA. How were you out on your other case? Were you out on a PTA or a bond? Um, a real estate bond. Well, either way, it was part of the condition of your bond. What is the condition of bond that you don't get arrested? Right? When you're out on bond, you sign a form that says, I will not get in trouble, I will not get arrested, correct? I've never been in trouble before besides that, so I don't know. That's not the question. When you sign a bond to get out, you're signing that you will not get in trouble while you're out on bond. Yet here you are getting arrested. So how can we let you out on a PTA when the bond says you shouldn't commit a crime? Plus, like Beth said, you want help, there's one avenue. You don't get help people that don't want to help themselves. We're going to try to tell you. If you want to help yourself, we'll get you the help. We'll write it in a report, and when it goes to court, they can get you the help. If not, drug cases, this case, North Avenue is in your future. Is it going to be counseling or North Avenue? You decide. What's my bond? So we'll decide by ourselves, won't we? What would you like your bond to be? Whose real estate bond is that? Sister? Yeah, really. Mama Noah? Mm hmm. Well, what was it? How much? $140,000. For marijuana charge? No, that was sales. Okay. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Anything else? What does your tattoo say? Everything happens for a reason. Tell us what this reason is. That's where you go. I'm not that guy. But you haven't convinced us that you're not. Until you say something to convince us. That's all we have to go on. You said all those things, and we came to your door. And knocked on your door and said, you're a bad guy because of the way you were talking to this girl. You saying, I would never have done anything with her, I never would have done anything I said. That's more believable because we're at your house. You never took the, the actual moves of coming to the 13-year-old. But you made a plan and you executed it to come to see this girl knowing she was alone, knowing her age, knowing what she looked like knowing you discussed having sex with her and teaching her. Please let me see how I can get out of here. Now my mom and my son will be to find out about them. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take them like that. I'll just double up. Alright, John, come on. We'll get upstairs. You done? Yeah.